Hello everyone, welcome to another quick comparison video between GitHub Copilot or Copilot versus ChatGPT. Which one is better and why? Now this will be a really quick extensive review of GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT. So as you can see right here, although ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot have distinct user experiences and workflows, they share some similarities in terms of their underlying technology or algorithms. So they both have they both have systems that run on a large language models to generate responses and suggestions. Now, as you can see, here's the response from OpenAI Codex to a request by the author uh, right here. Now, this shows the response from OpenAI Codex. And by the way, the fine tuning process uh, allows Codex to understand the syntax and the structure of the code, as you can see. So basically, the, the only difference right here is uh, GitHub Copilot is more so, uh, you know, aimed at, you know, people that are tech savvy and people that uh, you know, uh, that know how to program and that know how to code. While on the other hand, chat GPT is more for a wider public and more general public, I would say, um, you know, and that's why they are uh, a little bit different. Now, in contrast, chat GPT is a general purpose, again, conversational AI platform that uses natural language processing to respond to user input is better suited for broader, more complex tasks right so uh but as you can see um you know this um guy right here i'm not sure what his name to pronounce really is but he is a cto at pipedrive a crm platform and said that the most common application development use case for chat gpt is understanding and writing code based on the task description as you can see right here now overall copilot is a great tool for quick tactical tasks and chat gpt is better suited for broader tasks this is in a nutshell, what you need to know if you want to compare those two. Like any early technology, they both have areas of improvement, obviously, and will get better and more advanced as time goes, right? So comparing the strengths and weaknesses of Git, uh, GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT. Now here's the rundown, right? So GitHub Copilot, you know, the strengths are, uh, it excels at ex generating code snippets and suggestions based on the context of the code being written. This is something that is a strength on GitHub Copilot. Now Copilot can suggest lines of codes, uh, variables and function names relevant to the context of the code and it can assist with granular snippets. So it's more so focused on the code while ChatGPT on the other hand, uh, you know, is definitely focused on more than just a code, you know, because it's for general public. Now GitHub's weaknesses or GitHub Copilot's weaknesses include generating incorrect or inefficient code suggestions. Again, it's not really, uh, you know, yet improved. So for that, I would highly go and highly recommend uh, chat GPT for that. So as you can see, chat GPT strengths is automating customer service interactions, providing virtual assistance for various tasks. Um, you know, also weaknesses for uh, chat GPT in terms of shortcomings, uh, you know, Torres, you know, the, the, the people that were researching chat GPT and uh, Torres finds that chat GPT may struggle with complex or technical language, and it may not always generate accurate or relevant responses. Now, additionally, Obviously, if we take a look at those two tools, both tools take advantage of open AI, uh, you know, GPT, um, large language models to generate results in different ways. Now, both of these tools are, are a bit different, but again, I think both of these tools need some more improvements in order for us to go and compare them. Obviously, again, ChatGPT is for a wider public and GitHub Copilot is more for a narrow public, uh, which is, you know, programmers, people that know how to code and, you know, to take advantage of, uh, you know, the Copilot as a great tool. So, uh, yeah, uh, I would definitely recommend using ChatGPT for, you know, coding purposes, for uh, fixing the codes, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I would use GitHub, uh, GitHub Copilot as an addition to that. So that's my opinion on that. Obviously, um, you know, uh, there are many different opinions but definitely comment down below and leave your opinion as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.